Tim from Scott Country National. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about a new offering from Hip Micro, just been released, the M15 Trail Cam. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. Now the new M15 from Hip Micro is uh, sort of your stand, your standard shape uh, trail cam. Obviously 4G antenna on the side. Obviously two IR emitting lights there. PIR sensor, five megapixel camera. Uh, an access plate under the front there to get all your uh, power on, set up and power off. Sync button, SD format and a number of indicator lights. Uh, which I'll explain now. So obviously first one being uh, your SD, tells your SDs in, your battery life, your 4G signal, and then if you're connected to the Hicksite mi micro app. Obviously to set that up, you just scan the QR code and add that add that to the site app as you would a, um, a normal device, say like an Alpex or a Thermal. So the camera on the front there is a five megapixel camera, as I already said, um, resolution of, 3072 by 1728 uh, for JPEG. Video resolution, it's full 1080p um, with 720 options there and WVGA um, options as well for video formatting. So loads, loads of choice there through um, any video format you want. Obviously 1080p is gonna consume a lot of memory up. So you can keep it around 720, keep it average. Uh, records audio as well. So. On the front there is just a little hole, which is your microphone. So again, you can have that in full color, black and white, uh, 940 IR and nanometer emitting IR diodes in there. So obviously invisible IR detection distance up to 25 meters. Obviously the angle of shot that comes out from there will be uh, 60 degrees diagonal and 45 degrees horizontal. So you're getting a 45 degree plane covering that side and a 60 degree coming out the uh, the top and bottom. Obviously, as I said there, under the component cover, you've got your 4G SIM that comes pre-installed there. And on the other side, you've got your removable SD card. So that can take up to an eight to a 32 gig scan disc. So you can just keep keep using it. It will overwrite your, when you set it up, I'll show that in some uh, later footage. You can set that up so it just over, overwrites your old stuff. So it'll just keep running continuously like that. Now, there's a few packages you can get. So like i.e. your data plans, you can have a free package, which is a hundred photos a month, or you can have a number of other packages running up right to a deluxe package, which is 11 euros 99. Uh, so what roughly about 10, 10 pound, something like that for unlimited photos and videos per month. Obviously as well, as I said there, it's powered by um, 12 AA batteries that slot in the bottom here, on the bottom of that. Now the weight of this is only 440 grams, so it's quite light, even though it looks quite a big beast, it's actually quite light. Operating temperatures run from minus 20 up to 55 degrees, so all good in uh, the UK. IP66 waterproof rating, so everything's sealed in there with a nice rubber seal, nothing's gonna get wet. Fittings on the bottom, got a quarter inch camera adapter on the bottom there, so you can put one of them plates on. So you're gonna have it on the bottom there, or you could put that on the back. So on the back, should you got any, if you get any fancy brackets or anything like that, but comes with a webbing strap as well. This is another one I've just took off another camera uh, for the time being. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll get this set up in the field and we'll start capturing some footage and see where we go from there. All right, deal. Cheers. All right, so what I've found now is got me a post. I'm just going to set up the uh, trail cam. So what I'm going to do now is set my trail cam up roughly about two and a half foot off the deck on the post here. We're going to do that now. Right. So now we've got the trail cam set up over here. <clears throat> you can see roughly where I'm at rough, rough height here. So obviously I want to be tracking down little roots that come down the side of this fence line. They follow off down there. Uh, there's a set over there. Obviously got my reds out in this field as well, but there's a large wood over there where a lot of foxes come through 
and I, I travelled down through this field, down through there, down into the um, down into the other fields at the bottom. Obviously, there's a river that goes through here called the Stanley Burn that flows all the way through there. So there's, it's quite a fast flowing river, so they don't really tend to cross that. Um, but this should give me good coverage across this field, so I can see what's coming in and out and transiting through. The fox box is up there anyway, so I've got good arcs down to this field, so I can see a bit of early warning indication that if anything comes in uh, into this field and presents itself into a line of fire down that sh down that further down that field to take a safe shot. Right, so now we've got now we've got this set up. What we're going to do now is open the front cover on the trail cam. And we're going to open the uh, Hick site app. So that is op that comes open there, and you can see my camera. So all we're going to do is open the front box. We're going to click one click on to set up, and that's giving me all my information. I'm watching for my LED indicators now, so SD card's good, battery's good. I'm just waiting for it to acquire a signal. So there's four lights flashing on the front now I'm just waiting for uh, the LED bar to stop flashing on the uh, signal to make sure I can get a signal down here which I should all my information is being displayed now on, on my uh, app and it's just come up there with a notification saying it's connected so battery's good signal is 100% I'm only getting a sort of a yellow amber light there but it's saying it's 100% on here and the other green indicator that I've got on there now is showing um, that I'm logged in to the device with my HIC site app. So go through the settings. So I want photo and video on 10, uh, 10 megapixel resolution. Now obviously I can change all of this when everything's set up. So I don't need to come back to the camera to do all this because I can do it completely remote. So later if it's getting a bit active and I'm seeing a lot of birds and other sort of natural stuff floating around during the day I'll set this to a I'll set this to a working time so I'll set it for at six o'clock at night so I'll set 1800 till 0600 and that'll give me a nice um, nighttime window where I can I can utilize my camera without being cl cluttered up with other other activity during the day so I'm happy that's all on that's all synced and now I'm gonna switch that to on that's on, so all my lights now have gone off on the camera. And what I should be getting is a red light, which is giving me the countdown. Give me an indicator on the front here, it's giving me a countdown so I can get myself out of the way and uh, clear myself away. And then that'll start tracking and doing what it needs to do. We've had this set out the other night, um, some pinging videos and uh, photos to my phone. So we're just gonna go through what we would do now to recover it obviously we'd unstrap it and take it off our um take it off the post i've had it set out here roughly so i turn our foot off the post here watching over a field where i know everything sort of transits through and uh we're just going to see what we've, we've got on our thing i'll put some footage on there um good thing good thing about this camera is you can have uh 1080p video you have 720 you can have audio uh, you can have still shots you can set a scheduled time so if you've got a known time where you've got um you think a, a fox or an animal is coming through say at 10 o'clock you can set it to do a, a shot there even though it trigger anyway um you can have working times put within it so if you want it on from sort of six in the morning till six in the evening and have a bit of a break and then it'll start up and come to life again sort of 10 o'clock till sort of one in the morning you can have that so really good functions within this camera you have got loads of um loads of options in there to change everything you can tag uh species as well so if you're seeing a fox and it will then recognize that's a fox that's a roe that's a badger you can tag all stuff there's even got a unicorn on there as well so if anyone sees any of them on their land there uh there'll be a prize for one of them so yeah so all in all oh, it's a really good camera um really good functionality it checks it's always got you pinged on your site uh, app, on your Hick site app. So photos and everything come to there and it's a really good little camera. So great little product. And for around 168 pounds, it's up there with the leading the leading people at the moment. Um, good data plans as well. So 
Obviously you get free free uh, monthly basic plan, which is 300 photos. Uh, and then you've got obviously moving up to sort of like the unlimited uh, bracket, sort of 11 euros 99. We'll give you unlimited photos and videos uh, throughout the month. So yeah, all in all, great product from Hick Micro. Cheers.